If you have Idaho Power, you may see a big jump in your power bill, but some environmental advocates and customers are pushing back. Angela Kernel is live in the control room to help you understand this proposed increase. It's the first time in 12 years Idaho Power has requested a general rate increase. Since then, the utility says more than it's invested more than $3 billion in the grid, while the company's customer base has grown up by about 23%. But some worry the way Idaho Power is seeking to recover those costs will fall disproportionately on lower income people and disincentivize energy efficiency. Idaho Power filed a general rate case with the Idaho Public Utilities Commission in March to increase rates by 8.61 percent, which would bring in $111 million. In a notice to customers, Idaho Power said since 2011, its operating expenses have increased about $50 million. If approved, Idaho Power says the average Idaho residential customer using 950 kilowatt hours per month would see a monthly increase of about $11.61. The company's CEO said in a statement, We are sensitive to the impacts rate increases have on our customers, and our company works hard to keep our expenses low and our prices well below the national average. This case is largely focused on the infrastructure additions that have been necessary to reliably serve our growing customer base. Lisa Young, the director of the Idaho Sierra Club, says her biggest concern is the proposal to move to a fixed rate system, removing its tiered rate structure. Under the proposal, residential customers would pay the same rate regardless of how much energy they use, resulting in Idaho Power collecting more from each customer in fixed costs. Young worries that would disproportionately affect people who don't use a lot of energy, potentially lower income people. For, you know, a wealthy homeowner in a large home who might pay, you know, close to $200 a month for their power bill, an additional $35 monthly fee might be a drop in the bucket, but for a low income renter in a small apartment who typically pays 40 bucks a month or something, you know, adding an additional $35 monthly fee is nearly doubling their bill. A spokesperson for Idaho Power noted that household energy usage is not indicative of household income. But Young also worries the fixed rates would disincentivize energy efficiency. You're paying a certain amount no matter what each month on your power bill, no matter how much energy you use. At the same time, as part of the proposed rate changes, she says those consuming more energy would actually see lower bills each month than they're seeing now. She says Idaho Power has the right to recover the investments it's made, but it should do so in a way that's more equitable than fixed rates. However, Idaho Power's spokesperson said a majority of their fixed costs are being collected through energy charges, which results in higher energy users subsidizing lower energy users, and that their proposed changes seeks to make cost collection among residential customers more equitable by better aligning fixed charges with fixed costs. Public comments can be made through the Idaho Public Utilities website or by mail. Public hearings are expected to happen sometime this fall. A decision from the Public Utilities Commission could be made by the end of this year or early next year. In the control room, I'm Angela Kerndall.